Ashlock Mr. Fans, we're going to watch I Was a Teenage Frankenstein. Let's check it out. Meet Dr. Frankenstein. A deserving blind man. So also can we successfully transplant other organs and members of the body, attaching and grafting them where needed, even in cases where important arteries and nerve centers have been severed. Any student of gross anatomy would refute you. And I still say that dead tissue cannot be reactivated. But my own son, a high school sophomore, wouldn't swallow your theory. Take one person's hand and and another's leg. Yes, why not? Simply an intelligent adaptation of the principle of selective breeding. After all, if you breed morons, you beget morons. But when brilliant people mate, there are still risks. But it's my heritage. So he's got a plan. But where Baron Frankenstein created a monster, I shall bring forth a perfectly normal human being, able to walk among normal people undetected. I'll point the way to perfection. So later on, there's a fire and a young man, about 18 or so, is killed. His body's intact, but his face is completely burned off. Penetration of at least two inches. Part Frankenstein the stole the body, by the way. Do as I say, and you will share in the greatest experiment science has ever made. When my experiment this is, is his girl, Margaret. We could go back together. If you haven't. Now they tell me the Queen Mary's an ideal setting for a honeymoon. So the operation begins, and he's apparently chopping off some limbs, and he's going to add other limbs instead. There's a leg. He has an alligator, and he drops the used body parts down to it. Believe me, I'll see to it that the replacements are an improvement over the original. So he's added replacement limbs to the limbs that he removed, the ones that were burned. And now he's jolting them. Didn't find a new head or face yet, though. Good. Morning. Well, my boy, you'll be chattering like a leg. Uh, I guess it's a success. Later on, Margaret sneaks into the lab to see what she can find out. And she finds the dude. Anyway, the monster works out. Excellent, my dear boy. Excellent. Yeah, new hand Getting stronger. stronger every day. But he wants you to go outside. Remarkable mental and physical progress. And of course, your obedience to me. You've made me very happy. He wants to go outside and he says, you can't go outside because look at yourself. You have to get him a new face. But I don't want to be locked up. But the monster decides to leave one night. And then he breaks into this woman's house. And then trying to silence her ends up killing her. Now you know the truth. Yes, I frightened them. Everybody who saw me, they ran. I told you they would. But I didn't mean to hurt. Hurt? You killed me, young You got the police down about our heads like a pack of baying dogs. I saw your great scientific experiment. I saw your monster. You actually saw him? Yes, in the vault in the cellar. Where you and Dr. Carlton worked so feverishly day and night. Yes, I saw him. During the engagement ring. She was angry at first, right. but then they got engaged. Oh, you still want me to keep the key to the vault? Oh, of course you keep it. Just another proof of my trust. Well, he didn't trust Margaret, and he locked her inside with the creature. She's going to be fed to the alligator soon. Time to get him a new face, so they head to Lover's Lane, where there are couples necking. Sends the creature to sneak up and kill the boy. A 
unknown thing through the car window. He had only one eye. It's the girl's mother. Not much face. And he just looked at Bob. Also, they have a picture of Bob. Yes, Arlene took it in our backyard. Yeah, good looking boy. And he still is. Right, handsome. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Why, when the stitches are out, he'll pass for a normal, quite attractive teenager. And you agree it's a success of my plan. The doctor plans to go to England to Actually, show it all. They're going to take him to England. It'll be much safer to launch him there. But how? His plan is to take the creature apart so he can pack him and ship him over and then put them back together once they're in England. Well, the creature doesn't go for that. The other guy escapes. Dr. Frankenstein is killed and tossed to his pet alligator. The other guy brings the cops and then this happens. Oh, look, turn color. Our creature fries. Our last scene in the movie is Dr. Frankenstein being eaten. All right, let's talk about I Was a Teenage Frankenstein. Um, I'd seen this movie once before. It was kind of a follow-up to uh, I Was a Teenage Werewolf, made by the same people. And I'll be honest with you, I thought I wasn't. I thought this was going to be kind of a shit film, but I kind of enjoyed it. I thought it was easy to follow. A very short film, only seventy-three minutes long, and it was uh, pretty decent. Um, for an old-style monster movie. So anyway, what we have here is uh, the descendant of Dr. Frankenstein from the original Frankenstein, apparently. Grandson, I think it is. Um, he's kind of continuing his, his grandfather's experiments, and uh, he wants to bring a body back to life, as all Frankensteins do. And um, he says, you know, unlike my father or grandfather, I'm going to make this like a, a normal, regular human being. No one's going to know, blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, he uh, gets the body of this teenager who died in a car crash, a fiery car crash. The body was burned uh, in a lot of places. The face was completely uh, burned beyond recognition. Somehow he got a hold of the body and brought it back down. Now, he cut off the burnt limbs, the arm and leg, and apparently he had some extra arms and legs laying around. So he puts the body back together. Didn't have a new head or face, though, so he just kept it as is jolted it and then it came to life and then almost instantly it was talking uh and then pretty soon it, you know he's walking around he's talking like normal he's educated he's working out lifting barbells um but he's his face is wrapped up in gauze and stuff because we know he's hideous looking um he, and and frankenstein's thinking this is a great success we're gonna make a lot of money uh, a lot of fame that sort of thing and the creature's like i want to go outside and stuff and he's like, you can't do that yet. And then he takes off the wrappings and he sees how awful he looks. Um, and uh, he says, well, we'll have to figure that out later. Well, the creature decides to sneak out on his own, ends up bursting into this house, ends up accidentally killing a woman. I don't know it, if it was purpose or what, but it, it, whatever. Anyway, he ended up killing a woman, goes back to Frankenstein and Frankenstein said, look, you've endangered this uh, uh, experiment. You know, you could be caught, you know. Uh, this is this is a bad situation now. So he thinks, okay, we better go get you a new face. So they go out, and uh, actually before that, actually uh, Frankenstein's uh, uh, girl, his uh, fiance, he gets engaged. She breaks into the lab and finds the creature at one point. And Frankenstein later on gets annoyed that she did that and figures I can't trust her, so I'll have to kill her. He sends in his wife or fiance into the uh, lab where the monster is. And the monster kills her because Frankenstein told her to. Then he feeds her to his alligator. That's what he does with his extra body parts, too. So anyway, they go out to Lover's Lane to try to find a good head or face for him. They find a, a couple, a young teenage couple, making out. Uh, they kill the guy and bring his head back. And then they take the face off and put it on the creature's face. And now uh, our, our um, monster looks like a regular, normal teenager. So Frankenstein's like, this is fantastic. It's working great. But you know what? Uh, I'm ready to show this off, but we got to do this in England. Can't do it here in America. So he has this plan to disassemble the creature, uh, ship him to England, and put him back together there. Well, he gets him up on the gurney, and then the creature goes nuts. He's like, uh-uh, this ain't happening. He goes nuts. He kills Frankenstein. Frankenstein's partner, his helper, 
goes out and gets the police. They come back um, just as Frankenstein's dump, or Frank, I'm sorry, the creature's dumping Frankenstein's body into the alligator. And then the creature backs up when the cops pull up their guns and ends up electrocuting himself, and that's how our movie ends. I was a teenage Frankenstein. There you go. And again, like I said, I, I'd seen this once before. I didn't remember anything about it, really. Um, but again, I was expecting a... a a pretty shitty horror movie, but it was actually pretty good. I thought this was some, some cheesy 50s thing, but um, it was still cheesy in 50s, obviously, but it was fun. It was well done for what it was. And again, it's a quick 73 minutes, uh, goes by in no time, and it, it never bores you. It's pretty entertaining. So anyway, that is it. I Was a Teenage Frankenstein. Now, like I Was a Teenage Werewolf, uh, these movies are not available on DVD, not official DVDs anyway. They were released on VHS tapes, which I own. Um... And uh, this is a burned copy here with some homemade box art. From what I read, uh, uh, Jack Nicholson, who was like the producer of American International Pictures, passed away and his uh, wife, his widow, Susan Hart, who was an actress at one point, um, owns the rights to these things. And apparently they've been trying to, or people have been asking her to put these out, to sell the rights to them so they can put them out on DVD and Blu-ray and such. And she apparently wants to do that, but her asking price is apparently off the wall crazy and no one's willing to pay it. So... These two films, as well as uh, about a dozen others, sit in limbo um, because she won't sell the rights for anything less than what she feels they're worth. Whatever. Anyway, I'm glad I have this. You should check it out. I'm sure it's available streaming or whatever. You can probably find it. And again, there's a lot of people selling uh, these types of copies of them too. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about it. I Was a Teenage Frankenstein. Watch it. Bye.